Ah. Why is it always my fault? It's not always your fault, just almost always your fault. Now, get that amniox a bit of a twist, will you? Not that far, only about half as much. Ah. Oh! Oh! <sighs> The pilot said that this blockage was a byproduct of Moya's pregnancy. It was probably caused by you firing that chemical burning earth pot in the transport. <clears throat> no, you don't have to worry about that. That was the last of my fuel. I'm totally dependent on your technology now. It's not my technology, it's Leviathan technology. Fargo, I don't give a rat's ass what you want to call it. It's your end of the universe, it's your technology. Sure as hell ain't mine. something wrong. Yep, I'm fed up. Fed up? Do what, what? I'm sorry, is this going to be another translator micro hiccup? Oh, John, you're fed up. Does that mean that you've had too many food cubes today? It was cute. It was vaguely, vaguely amusing the first six billion times. Something clearly is troubling you, John. Perhaps I can... So what? Um, so you, you're going to help? Is that it? Maybe. Before, when you were a priest. But guess what? You resigned. Crichton, I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm going for a drive. I'm hitting the strip. I'm going cruising. What's going on? I'm getting some space, Aaron, and I'm not talking about the space outside the ship. Look, this is hardly the time for human nonsense, Crichton. Oh, God, that is it. You are so damn smart. There's no time for any stupid human anything. And I'm sick of it, Aaron. I'm sick of Napoleon the 14th. I'm sick of Blue. I'm sick of Tittle Boy. And guess what? I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this whole turd burp into the universe. Crichton! I need you down here. This backwash is building up too fast. Moya is experiencing an extreme increase in her amnexus systems. She senses that her fetus is at risk. She's decompensating. Decompensating? Oh, no. That means she's Prepare going to... Prepare for immediate starburst. What's he doing? We must warn him. Pilot, get him back on board. No time. You guys are bugging out on me? I hate Starburst. John Crichton, an astronaut, a radiation wave hit, and I got shot through a wormhole. Now I'm lost in some distant part of the universe on a ship, a living ship, full of strange alien life forms. Help me. Listen, please. Is there anybody out there who can hear me? I'm being hunted by an insane military commander. Doing everything I can. I'm just looking for a way home. Who to bet on? You were the Shaklun. 
I wasn't sure myself. <laughs> You share with me? In a choir, the offering of food by a man to a woman signals his fondness for her. How do you take it? Spoiled or barbecued? What's that? It is a map of the sky. Did you make that? Yes. By the ancient charts of the Timbala. It is a gift for you. Oh, but shall I, uh... That's beautiful. Thank you. I, um, thought you might show me where your homeworld is. My homeworld? Well, let's see. This map, right about there. Bashella, your father demands you return to the village. Is it my father that demands it, or you, Rokan? When would you ever do as I demand? <laughs> when you learn to ask nicely. You can teach him that. I see you took a shaklum. Too bad. A baby. Don't take them smaller than this. Right. This is Lachella's map of the sky. Why did she give it to you? Well, I guess she thought it might help me find my way home. She's never given me such a gift. Rokan, you don't need a map to get home. You know you'll never go home. Not from Aquara. You're probably right. But this is the first place I've been that makes me feel I can live with that. But the question is, can Aquara live with you? The ground there wants to see you. Be there at high sun. Another green planet, in yet another unnamed system. Crichton must have landed somewhere. Moya's starburst data says that this planet is on an exact reverse trajectory. Along with every other system we've been through in the last quarter of a cycle. Dargo, we have to admit to ourselves, whatever happened to John is his own doing. He shouldn't have left Moya in the time of crisis. We drove him to it. All of us. You've become so cold. Cold, perhaps, but also practical. We all grow weary of this search, and it places us in greater danger of being discovered by the peacekeepers. I still care about Crichton. The only reason this search still drags on is because of the guilt in your own hearts. My hearts are private places. Stay out of them. Aaron, you have a voice in this, too. Fine, I say we keep looking. For now. You know, Dargo, there will come a time where we may have to acknowledge that Crichton has met his destiny and we are just not part of it. Then I will wait for you to tell me when to abandon the search. When we abandon Crichton.
Ah, my honored guest has arrived. Shai, China. Shai, enough. Alue Masada. Alue Masata. You learn our ways, John Crichton. Ah, oh, they're not so different from my own. Go. I want to talk in private. Come. Sit. Beside you. I know. It's a privilege awarded only to my best hunters. I wouldn't wish to dishonor them. But by refusing, you dishonor me. Sid, we have much to discuss. Ah, oh, you see? Not a bad place to sit. So you said we have much to discuss. Yes. For instance, the impulsive flights of my daughter's heart. You see the way she comes alive when she looks at you? When I look at her, I see a friend. If it should become more than that, you need to understand that. Tatarai, I deeply appreciate the way your people have welcomed me, but I chose to build my home away from the village because I do not want to interfere in your ways. Amongst our people, it is the female who chooses which male she will mate with for life. Maybe out of your hands, my dear Clyden. It appears the Grandier has invited the stranger to sit beside him. When was the last time he invited you? Only once, when I asked his permission to attract Lachella. It is obvious Lachella feels coolé for the stranger. And now he sits in your rightful place. I am not blind, Mother. Oh, not blind. But perhaps we... I am first among the hunters. As my son, you are more than any hunter. You are part of the Priestan lineage, and someday you could be Grandir of Akora. I'm seeing to that, but only if you marry Lashala. I want to marry her, but not for your reasons. How can I control the way she feels? I'm talking about rule of all of this. And you can't even master the heart of one foolish girl. You will do whatever is necessary to ensure that no one stands between you and our family's destiny. Do you understand? That is the worst pod landing I ever experienced. Where did you learn to fly? We lost all power. We dropped the last 20 units. You're telling me. Pilot, we're heads up on the planet. We caught a glimpse of Crichton's module during our last pass. I acknowledge, Dargo. Excellent news. I will inform the others. In the meantime, Moya's having trouble pinpointing your signal. Can you activate your perming ident so she can reconfirm position? Pilot. Pilot! Communication's been terminated. Mm. Another power loss. Something's draining all power. Dargo? Where are you going? Hmm? I insist you wait for me. It's a simple matter, Aaron. Either you or I jet down there to try and pick up a visual where we lost contact. We didn't lose contact, Zan. Contact was severed. Dargo confirmed that he found Crichton's module. Then he was gone. Which is why we must act quickly. Not without more data. We're already down one transport pod. Let's not make it two. They could be hurt or need medical attention or even reinforcements, Aaron. You were a lot more agreeable as a peace-loving priest. As I assume were you as a peacekeeper pilot. I didn't give up my calling. You did. My personal decision to put aside the spiritual seek is none of your business. I warn you fairly, Aaron. Do not go there. Is that a threat? I will only tell you once. There are lines that we should never cross. Now, I strongly suggest we concentrate on the problem at hand. First rule of engagement. Before you go into battle, know your enemy. 
It is not a battle, Aaron. It is a rescue. From what? There should be some sort of thermal register from the pod's propulsion systems, but there's nothing. Well, then I suggest we find out why. Fine. Because if we don't, we're all we have left. Masada. Just passing through. Is there a problem here? Brocon. What's the deal? <laughs> Damn it! Rokon. I know you do not mean to be an enemy, but you interfere with our ways. I'm not trying to interfere. I'm just trying to live my life alone. Then why do you poison Lashala's heart? Rokon, you and Lashala, you've got nothing to worry about from me. But I have to be sure. I have nothing to worry about from Lashala. <laughs> smell like Dren. You look like Dren. Get the hell away from me. We came back for you. That's supposed to be a good thing? You'd rather those guys have danced all over your face. Huh. Yeah, I would. And wherever you came from, go back. When he came flying in, swinging his powerful blade, this man creature, a full salmon bigger than Talio or Kuma, with tentacles and tattoos all over his head. You see, the stranger, this Crichton, infects us like a parasite. Already he brings more evil into our midst. Remember, our ancestors were space travelers too. We have a colonists here ourselves. Then you will embrace this man-creature as you've embraced the stranger? Perhaps you will invite him also to bed with your daughter. Mother! You will not dishonor my daughter. It's all right. She knows nothing of my heart and less of my sleeping habits. She should only get some of her own. You try the limits of your rank, Nida. Remember you address the Grandia. Remember, your office depends upon the sanction of mine. Do not show weakness here, Cutter Ray. Our people will not stand for it. <laughs> Crichton, you're alive. No thanks oh. to you. Hmm. Get up. You're out of here. This isn't the happy reunion I'd planned on. I hadn't planned on one at all. Not after you abandoned me. Is that what you really think happened? You're the one. Practically sabotaged poor Moyer, then blasted out of there like a barking out of his mana. I get a little stressed out, and the second I'm off the ship, boom! You guys starburst the hell out of there. Moyer starburst on her own! You forced her to decompensate when you failed to release the pressure on her Amnexus systems. Do you really think we abandoned you when we spent the last quarter of a cycle searching for you? This whole time, the last three months, you came back to look for me. 
A lapse of sound judgment. I regret for the rest of my life. Yep. You just might. The rest of your life. We'll all regret it if we don't deal with this negative barrel vortex. Which means what exactly? It uses power. Doesn't work. Ooh. We're stuck here? Oh. No power. No comforts. No defenses. Sounds like paradise. Zan! Wake up, Zan. I'm not sleeping. I'm increasing my work efficiency with the Delvian Wanted Chat. Oh, well, this might help. Come and have a look. Pilot just produced it. Ah, oh, good. It's a topographic bioprint. Still too generalized, though. Too generalized for what? Well, since Moya can't pick up any power signals from the planet, she's concentrating instead on biological markers. What we need to do is isolate the most highly developed organisms. Oh, well, that rules out the three we're looking for. Yes. Well, even if we can locate them, the problem is, how do we help them? Well, I've been thinking about that. We need some kind of shielded power source, something that's hot enough to run their transport pod that can be built into a projectile. Well, how do we send it in where we can do most good? Well, you locate the target, and I'll hit it. Anyway, thank God I found this planet, this system. You thought you would stay here the rest of your life. I haven't stopped thinking that. Look around, Dargo. There's a lot worse places. Since I left my home, I've been hunted, beaten, locked up, shanghai shot at. I've had alien creatures in my face, up my nose, inside my brain, down my pants. This is the first time, first place, where I found peace. Shala. Don't be afraid. Who are you? Lashala, this is Dargo. Dargo Lashala. Why did you bring him here? Uh, I, I didn't bring him. He came on his own as a friend. Rokon accused your friend of attacking his brothers. That is a lie. They ambushed Crichton. It's lucky I showed up when I did. You've done nothing to harm us since you came. Why do they wish to hurt you? Lashala. Rokon believes that your heart strays my direction. Perhaps he's right. Well, you and I, that's, um, no, that's not a good idea. You must go to my father at once and convince him that your friend Dalgo is not a threat. Come, I'll take you. Dargo! You 
are charged with the crime of assault against the personal guards of the Grandier. Gracious Grandier, you know that I've always told you the truth. This whole thing started when you asked me to sit beside you. It made Rokon think that I was trying to steal Lashala's heart. That's a lie! Enough! My daughter's heart is not an object to be possessed or stolen. She's free to give it as she chooses. Try telling him that. It's the stranger that disrupts our peace. And now his ally, this man-creature, threatens our very safety. The crime of assault against my personal guards carries the sentence of death. Oh, I know they're not dangerous. Please, they're no threat to one. Be quiet or be removed! But since I believe you are not entirely at fault, you shall be banished to work the compound at Lomotakai for a period of ten cycles. Katore, you're wrong. Grandia, I remind you! The law is very explicit. The law is my domain. <laughs> See that! Here! What do you have in there? <laughs> So glad you could join us, Your Eminence. Mm -hmm. What the frell is going they on? They think... They think... You're God. No. Not a God. But a sovereign. <laughs> That's perfectly understandable. My, um... Mm, uh, my empire included tens of thousands of planets and species. This simply must be one of them. You know, this Grandia's hut is really quite comfortable. We are nowhere near Hyneria. We are in the uncharted territories. What are your subjects doing all the way out here? There's no telling how far my influence extends. Uh, may we, your eminence? Hmm? May you what? We're here to bathe you. <laughs> you may go. I'll see to it that no more harm comes to you. <laughs> How's it going? Well, I've almost finished with the projectile. The shielded power source is another matter entirely. I don't know enough of the necessary science to build it. I can't believe this, but I need Crichton. Well, Moya's isolated bioprints of the most complex life forms. See these orange marks here? They indicate habitat. A settlement, possibly a village. And the dark area? Well, according to Pilot, it's the focal point of negative power drain. But look, these three marks here. Three distinct life forms, clearly different from all the others. Is it possible? Crichton, Dargo, Rigel. Well, we know where to send this, but I have no shielded power source to pack on board. However, we could use it to point them in the right direction. Oh, this is too, too much. <laughs> Keep it coming. Oh, fruit, shaklam jerky. Oh, Excuse me, your eminence. Oh, shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> Enter. Your loyal subjects preparing a little celebration for you. Excellent. Where they officially accept you as their massager and you fulfill your part in the prophecy. Hmm? Which part of what prophecy? That's what we're trying to find out. They don't like talking to strangers about their religion. Religion? Duh! I told you I'm their dominant, not their god. Well, they don't think so. They think you're some kind of savior. Hmm? Your eminence. Hmm. Doesn't anybody knock? Alwe Masata, most humble Masata, forgive me. 
Your grand celebration is being prepared. Ah, yes, of course. Where well, I'm expected to fulfill my part in the prophecy. Now, for my part in the prophecy, I shall require the sacred text. The Timbala? Yes, yes, the Timbala. It is written in the ancient language. There are very few who can read it, only a priest and like myself. And of course, you. Hmm. I look forward to the honor of officiating at the celebration. <laughs> How did you know about the sacred text? Where were you brought up? Every religion's got one. Look, relax. The answer to the Homer sort of thing must be in here somewhere. Can you read it? It's in the ancient Hynderian. I had a coterie of tutors all through my youth who did nothing but instruct me in the ancient language. Can you read it? I will try. Hey. Are you a model too, like the Masata? When were you gonna tell me? I thought we had a future together. Michelle, our futures were never meant to be one. Doesn't matter anyway. Now that he's come, all our futures are different now. It is written in the prophecy. Mishala, what is the prophecy? He is the Masata. Through the priest and he has protected us, guided us, ruled us throughout our exile on this planet. Later, after the celebration, he shall rise up and lead us to the light. Wait, you think that Rigel is going to take you off this planet? Whether we want to go or not. Mishala, <laughs> Rigel is not a spiritual being. He doesn't have any special powers. That's not true. We've worshipped his idol for generations, and now he has returned, just as it is written in the Timbala. Your Timbala? Your beliefs? They're wrong. A flesh and blood dominar no. has been presented no. to you as some kind of a god. It's not true. If he is the real Masata, he will rise up and lead us to the light. If he does not prove himself the true Masata tonight, he will suffer a torturous death beyond any other. And so will you. Started. It looks like you're the guest of honor. Rigel, you'd better find something we can use. The ancestors of these people, these Aquarans, they were colonists sent out from my empire during the reign of Rigel X. They were meant to expand the influence of my people's monarchy, and they were... they were abandoned. Rigel X sent them here. And he... Rigel, what? Whatever's causing the power drain across the planet, it's intentional. There's some sort of device sent by my empire that purposely keeps these people on this planet so that they can't travel, can't learn of other cultures, 
can't be anything other than the blind followers of the family of Rigel. What's this about you being some kind of a Masada? A lot of this is new. The Priestons have made it up, elevated my ancestors and me to gods, to elevate themselves. But I must tell them, explain. I'm Rigel the 16th. They must listen. Rigel, look at them out there. They aren't preparing for the return of a worldly king. They're preparing for the return of their savior. Then we are friends. Matata, Masada. We got a big problem. They're all expecting Slugman here is gonna rise up and lead him into the light. We know it is written in the Tambala. It's a metaphor, that's all. A colorful bit of descriptive language to infer the guiding of people to a better way of life. Listen, Rigel. To these people, it's not any damn metaphor. They are burning their possessions. They are expecting you to rise up and part the heavens. But I... I can't do that. I... I... Oh. No, no, wait. I command you. <gasps> Great. This current bioprint reading shows all three targeted life forms are very close to the Vortex site. All right, let's stop it right in their laps. Programming targeting coordinates. Clear to launch. Now. She's on optimal trajectory. If everything goes smoothly, we should have contact in... We've lost her. It's the power vortex. No signal, no data, no contact. She is gone. So, now all we can do is wait. And pray for a miracle. People of Aquara, loyal subjects, in this time of, of hope, of, uh, of greater understanding, it is my wish that you will understand that we have much to accomplish together as a united people before, um, and uh, by my hand, uh, I shall rise up and lead you to the light. So, as we embark together on this great journey forward, uh, could uh, take a very long time. No. Uh, it is written that the Masato will rise up and lead us to the light. But that's just a metaphor. Uh, uh, and as your leader, your dominar, I command that you should wait. The sacred Timbala does not command us to wait. It states without question. By the hand of the Masata shall he rise and lead us to the light. Rise and lead us to the light. Rise up and lead us to the light. Rise up and lead us to the light. Rise up and lead us to the light. Listen. Listen to me. I. I. A god. False god. He's not the Masata. False god. But I never was a god! Seize him!
For God's sake! Darko, they're gonna fry Rigel! We'll be no help to anyone if they fry us too. What is it? It's from Moya. Thermal storage casing. Looks like the girls are trying to send us a message. That's coordinates. You have been wrong. Horribly wrong by my empire. I admit that. But your belief that I am a god is also wrong! Let me explain! Please! Let me explain! It is how it must be. No, it is not. Why can't we decide our own fate and make our own rules? You've been betrayed, all of you. You've been forced to live on this planet against your will, as were your ancestors before Don't you. Don't listen to him. There is a device. A device which drains all power sources. It keeps your machinery from working. There is no device. This device sends out an invisible pulse which blankets the entire planet's surface. <laughs> no! Your ancestors first arrived at this planet. Their starships functioned, as did all the machines that they left behind. But you've been lied to. First by those who left you here, and then by the priesthood. You dare attack the priestons? That's the highest sacrilege. No. The highest sacrilege is purposely keeping your own people ignorant and subjugated for your own glorification. Lies! You have no proof of anything! Yes, I have! In the Timbala. But only the Priestons have read it. If it is true, that would mean the Priestons have lied to us for generations. That cannot be. Kill him, Rokan. He's mad. Just kill him. Don't, Rokon. Kill him, Rokon. Kill him, Rokon! If what you are seeing is true, then where is this device? Where is it? I'm not entirely sure, Rokon. The people from my ship just sent the coordinates. Just give me a chance to find it. <laughs> 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 Into the Masada, shall he rise up and lead us to the life? Sparky, you're up! Dargo! Right here, the impression, your hands right there! I command it. I have not risen. I am not a deity. I am but a worthy being like yourselves. But I am your sovereign. Masata. 
a slug who would be king. I wish you could stay here with us, Domina. Oh, as do I, my friend. As do I. But I must continue on my journey. And if those peacekeepers I mentioned should arrive here... We shall tell them nothing of your visit. Mm -hmm. Provisions for your journey? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. This is so generous. I... I wish I had more of a gift for you. You've given us the greatest gift of all, Domina Raichel. Given us our freedom. Now we can stay in our beloved Akron. And so, you do not forget us. We've prepared you a special gift. <gasps> Shaklum jerky. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Yes. <laughs> you take care of her, Rokon. I will. Your mother, will she... She will survive her displacement. You've often said you love this place. Why don't you stay and help us rebuild? I wish I could. But my future is with my own kind. I'll continue my journey. We'll miss you. Crichton, it's time to go. Gotta go. Guess I got some apologies to make up on the ship. Zan, Aaron, you. Forget about that. Was it worth the trouble, human? Huh. What trouble? Let's hit the road. <laughs> 